Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to WordPress Problem Solved. Here I'm going to cover all the most common issues people have with WordPress. I've made, at this point, over 40 WordPress sites, and I've taught over 20 people how to use WordPress. And in this tutorial, as well as the next two, I am going to completely explain all of the issues that people normally have with WordPress. First, one of the number one issues that people have with WordPress is finding a way to legally copy content from other websites easily. Well, WordPress comes with a great tool. It's called Press This. And if you go to your left sidebar and click on Tools, you'll see right here this link. Press This. Click on Bookmark This Link and it'll go into your bookmark area. For me, it's right here, and this is how it works. Let's say I see something over at the Huffington Post that I like, and I want to legally copy it. What Press This does for you is it limits the amount that you're able to copy, so there, that gets by certain legal constraints. It also will create a link back to the original article. This is all you do. So let's say I want to copy this right here. Just select it with the mouse, Go back up to my bookmarks, find press this, click on press this, and it took all the information from that post and put it in here. For some reason, some websites do not keep the paragraphs in order, so I have to clean that up, which really stinks. And also, this is a common error. I know I'm telling you that this is a great app and I'm showing you all the things that are wrong with it. This is only true with some websites that this occurs. You can see here there's an apostrophe error. I have to go in and fix that. Like I said, this doesn't happen on that many websites and it doesn't happen on all the articles. Okay, got that all done. Now I'm gonna go over here and put in some keywords that are that would be associated with this. Click on Add. I'm gonna click on News under Categories, but you could also add a new category if none of these made sense. Then you click on Publish. Automatically posted. Now if I jump over to my website, and there you can see it. There's the article right there. It automatically got posted 100% legal. Another issue that a lot of people have in regards to using WordPress involves how to properly add titles, descriptions, and keywords to your posts. What I did was I installed a plugin on WordPress called All-in-One SEO. It automatically, if you scroll down here, will generate titles, descriptions, and keywords for you. The only problem is they're normally bad because what it does is it finds the most commonly used words and then generates your descriptions and keywords and titles based off of that. Well, that might not be what you want. As you can see right here, I'm going after jQuery people with jQuery keywords. And these are all keywords people type in because I've used the software that tells me this. Well, what I wanna make sure I do is type in a title that properly uses keywords. I wanna use those same keywords in my description. And then of course, I wanna list some of those keywords in my keyword area. Now, you should never put many of these in here, otherwise Google will just disregard them. And you should never go over 160 characters. Well, the all-in-one SEO pack automatically does that. And you should never go over 60 characters in your title. It makes sure that you don't do that as well. So it's a great tool, it just doesn't quite do what it's supposed to. And of course, also make sure you come up to the tag section of WordPress and put those same good keywords in here and don't forget to hit add. That's another common problem that people have in regards to filling out this information. Now on to the media library. This is the number one problem that I see people having in regards to WordPress website. Let's jump over here to a post. I'm gonna show you how to add media. You can add images or whatever you want directly inside of the edit post area or edit pages. And here is where you add images. Here is where you can add video, but I don't because it's broken most of the time. Here you can add audio, and I would never use this right here, which is add media. I'm gonna show you an absolutely awesome way to add different types of document types directly into your WordPress posts. But the images work great. Click on that. Now what you can do is you can select a file, an image file directly from your website. So I'm gonna do that. It will automatically upload that image to your media library. Then you wanna add in a, well, the title's automatically there. You wanna add in alternative text, just to keep this quick, I'm gonna put this in. If a description didn't automatically go in there, you also wanna put a description in. Then you would make decisions on alignment in regards to whether you want the image to go left, center, or right. And you would choose what size of image you want to insert into your post. Let's say I just decide to do a thumbnail. 
click on insert into post and that's all you do to add an image into a post. Now let's say that you want to edit this image. Just do that. Click on that little picture and in under advanced settings you'll see a way to add a border which I commonly do. Add margin space to separate it from the text and then you could put in another title, related links, you could make CSS styling to the image if you wanted to. So you can do all these little neat things. Click update. And since I'm having an issue with it right now, I'm going to show you another tip. See how this box is real tiny? I'm going to show you how to make it bigger. Now I'm going to jump over into settings in the left sidebar. Writing. Size of post box. Let's change this to 20 lines. Come down here, hit save changes. Now if I go back into posts and click on edit, see how it got bigger? So that's how you would increase the size of your post box. Now let's say you want to add video to this post as well. I do not like this embed tool and also WordPress has a feature that as of this writing sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. That feature is if you go to YouTube and you find a video that you want to post, as I'm doing right here, I'm going to hit play, then I'm going to grab the URL and I'm going to jump back into this post. Sometimes this works. I paste the URL directly right there and then it worked but like I said sometimes it does not work but that's one way to add video and it's actually a really nice way to add video another way to add YouTube video and this is what is called Vipers video quick tags that's what this whole string of buttons is right here that's a plugin you can download again Vipers video quick tags so I'm gonna click on YouTube paste you could change the dimensions of the movie but I'm gonna choose not to and I'm gonna hit OK now if I hit preview you can see there that it inserted the video right into the post as well. And I could also change whether I want it to be left or right justified and what have you. So those are two ways to add video. One works some of the time, the other one always works. So let's go back in here and edit some images again. I'm going to click on Media. Here's the image that I just uploaded. I'm going to click on Edit. Now I can click on Edit Image. A lot of people don't know this exists. You can see here I can crop this image down just like that. I could also rotate the image, rotate it back, flip it, and these are undo buttons. I could also scale the image. So let's say I wanted this to be a maximum width of 150. Did that, and it automatically scales over here. If I hit scale, click OK, and it automatically saves for me. So those are just some of the pre-built in ways that you can edit images in WordPress. So how do you embed pretty much any type of document file directly into your WordPress pages or any website page. There is a website called scribd.com and what they allow you to do is upload documents to be stored for free on their website and then once you do that you can embed pretty much any type of document directly into your website. So what you got to do is go to scribd.com, create an account there and then whenever you want to upload a document just click on upload upload then you would find the document that you would want to copy up there click OK and it automatically uploads everything directly into your website now if you want to take that document and embed it into your WordPress website click on my documents click on the file that you want to embed scroll down here on the right see where it says embed click on copy now jump back over into WordPress Let's say we want to put it into this again. Edit. Now you're going to have to jump into your HTML part of your WordPress site. Scroll down. Click right here. Paste. Hit Save Draft. Now if you click on Preview, that was a PDF file by the way that I uploaded. You can upload doc files, Microsoft doc files, Excel files, PowerPoint presentations, just tons of different things. And as you can see, here is the PDF file available for anybody to be able to look at. You can put multiple pages in here. This is an absolutely amazingly great tool. I allow people to download it. I allow people to print it, see it full screen. I mean, it is really just an awesome tool and it's amazing that it's available for free. So I hope that helped you a lot. Like I said, a lot of people have problems for some reason with the media library inside of WordPress. Obviously copying content legally is an issue and a lot of people do not know that Scribd exists and this is going to solve a lot of problems for people. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hope this helps you out. Till next time.